Hi, my name's Louise. I'm a speech and language therapy assistant working from Chesterfield Royal Hospital. In this short video, we're going to look at hearing the difference between two sounds, also known as discrimination. The two sounds that we're going to be working on today are D and G. This activity is about your child being helped to hear the difference between the sounds and not about them being able to produce or say them. Stage 1. To begin, we always start with the sound in isolation. Firstly, you make sure the child knows what the sound is and the picture that goes with it. You could draw a letter or use the phonics pack that the child's nursery or school use. Go over the sound. The child could also use their finger to trace the letter if this helps. D. D. G. G. I'm going to use these stars and my pointing stick. Every time I say the sound, I'd like the child to point to the letter. You could use lots of different objects. You could use cars, pom-poms in a container, or buttons placed on the letter. You could also put the letters on the ground and the child could jump on the sound that they hear, or throw a beanbag on it. As I say the sound, I'd like the child to point to the corresponding letter. Well done. D. Good listening. You may say the sound a few times before you change it. Make sure you praise your child throughout. D. Good job. G. Well done. D. What to do if your child points to the wrong letter? We then repeat the sound, giving the child an opportunity to correct themselves. I said, D. Good listening. If they don't do this, then we can point to the letter and make the sound for the child. I said, D. D. Continue this activity in 5 to 10 minute sessions until the child has become consistent. Stage 2 of listening between sounds. Next, your child needs to listen to the sound combined with a vowel. These are known as a silly or a nonsense word. These silly words start or end with a D or a G. We're going to ask the child to choose the sound that they can hear. Remember to give praise and play a game alongside to keep it fun. Let's begin. Do. Do. Well done. Good listening. Hopefully the bear will pop as a reward. Goo. Goo. Well done again. Good listening. Gee. Gee. Shall I say that one again? Gee. Well done. Good listening. Ooh. And there's the bear popped. Continue with this game until your child becomes consistent within the activity. Next, we're going to ask the child to listen and sort between the words starting with the D and the G. Again, use a game to play and encourage your child throughout. Right, let's begin. Ooh, 
We've got a donkey. Donkey. Well done. Oh, got a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Good listening. Girl. Girl. Did I say girl or girl? That's right. I said girl. Ghost. Ghost. Again, good listening. Continue to use all the cards. You could also use a feely bag of objects that begin with a D or a G sound and play it exactly the same way, placing them on the target sound. Minimal pairs are two words that sound exactly the same, except for the first sound. For example, go and do. You'll need two sets of minimal pair cards and a barrier such as a box, a book or a screen. Make sure each of you has an identical set of the cards placed face up. Go through them first to ensure your child recognises the pictures and prompt them to say each word. Once you've done that, place the barrier in the middle between you so that you cannot see each other's pictures. You then take turns to choose a picture and say the word. See if the other person selects the same picture because you said it correctly. By checking whether or not the pictures match, your child can see clearly whether or not they find the word correctly. Date Well done. Die. Oh, can you see my picture? I said die. D die. The lady dyes her hair. You've got a guy. G guy. Well done, though. Let's try another. Dot. Well done. I said dot and you've chosen the card dot. If your child finds it hard to say the words correctly, be sure to praise them for trying. Pick up the card that your child actually says. So if they say dot, but you know they meant got, pick up dot, pointing out that the word that they said started with a d and not a g. Another way of playing minimal pairs is if you say the name and the child points to the picture. Gate. Well done. Guy. Well done again. Dot. Okay, I said dot. D dot. And you pointed to Got. G got. Well done though, good listening. Another quick game for this is thumbs up, thumbs down. Explain to the child that you're going to say two words. They'll either be the same for the thumbs up or different for the thumbs down. For example, gate, gate. Thumbs up. Gate, date. Thumbs down. Repeat this with all the other cards.
Next, we're going to move on to sorting the sound silently for d and g. The aim is to be able to sort the sounds without speaking or hearing the words spoken. In order to be able to select the sound when saying a word, we need to be able to sort the sound in our head first. This happens subconsciously. Always begin by making sure that your child knows what the pictures or objects are by naming them before you start the activity. I'm going to use pictures and our target sounds. But you can also use objects from around the house to make the activity a little bit more fun. We've got a duck, donkey, dinosaur, dog, a dolphin, gruffalo, glue, girl, gecko, glasses and goggles. When doing the activity, do not make any comments about whether or not they've made the correct choice. Once sorted, take a look at each sound in turn and go through them all. Even if your child has put the incorrect picture to the sound, say it. For example, we've got a door on the g sound. So when we go through them, we could say good, gate, gold, gore. Is that right? Gore, or should it be door? Do this process with all the pictures.